is actually, it is quite a small stage, so I'll just, I'll just perch here. Because you're the ones, <laughs> you're the ones they want to see, not me. Um, do you know what, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've actually bought with me a toilet roll. Right. It's not because I'm particularly, I'm not nervous. That. That's <laughs> strange about it. Not pretty nervous about it. I'm just going to pass it along the line, and could I ask you to take as, as much as you need? Yeah. Okay. Some sort I'll of psychological test. No. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, it's not a, psycho a psychological test. Um, more of a, an introduction activity, really. Um, for every sheet you have taken. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, sorry now. Uh, I'd like you to tell us a fact about yourself. <laughs> but to, to start off, this is an opportunity to introduce yourself with your name, who you played, in, <coughs> enter time, and then anything you want. It can be a professional fact, it can be a trivial fact, it can be a personal fact, as personally as you're prepared to get with a room full of strangers <laughs> on a Sunday afternoon, and you don't have to do them all if you don't want to. Okay. <laughs> I've run out quite quickly. Indeed. <clears throat> so, how many shoes have you taken? Um, one. <laughs> Two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven. So your first two. Your name is? I'm Tracy Fatchell. And you play? Abigail Naismith. And, um, oh wow. My favourite colour is purple. <laughs> um, I go to Holy Trinity Swiss Cottage. Church. Um, I work with the youth there, and um, the youth. The youth. <laughs> <laughs> Is he known in the neighbourhood? <laughs> yeah, just one. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen him about. That youth. <laughs> <laughs> on the news last week. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, and I live with my sister, and I. I don't know. I don't like cheese. <laughs> um, you've done this before, haven't you? <laughs> How many did you, you take? Me? Yes. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm Sylvia Seymour and I played Miss Trefusis. And when I went to audition for Miss Trefusis, I knew she had to have splendid red nails. And I had mine done so long that I couldn't press the doorbell to the audition <laughs> suite to get it. <laughs> Uh, actually, before we move on, um, one of my questions was, um, was it your hand we saw at the, the end of the, the master, the, well before the end of time? I think so, It yeah. was you, you were, yeah, you were taking I, the ring, so... I think so, yes, I went, the fire was there, the embers and the whole, the whole thing, yeah. Right, so you, you must have recorded about 12, 18 months before and coming back to do... The, the full part where I actually saw who you were. Yes. Okay, I just wondered whether it was a stunt hand. Actually, there was a, a, a technical man who'd had his nails painted like mine <laughs> to do all sorts of extra bits where they didn't want me to keep hanging around, and he did some of the stuff, yeah. <laughs> I hope he shaved his knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> right, sir. I'm Simon Thomas, I played Mr. Danes. Um, I was born in Scotland. Um, my favourite doctor was Peter Davison, although I'm, I have to say that because I'm working with him at the moment. <laughs> uh, um, when I was younger, I had a Tardis Wendy house that I used to run around the, the front room uh, with. Um, and. I don't know. How did you get here today? How did I get here? Well, on the train. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> Thank it you. Is, yeah. And finally. <sighs> <laughs> it's like Tom Baker's scarf, that one. It is. Well. <laughs> okay, my name is Teresa Bannum. My favourite. I play the governor in Doctor Who. I, uh, my favourite colour is blue. Although the car I own is red. <laughs> I live in Tooting. Uh, I've ne I had never been in anything uh, 
approaching sci-fi prior to Doctor Who, and uh, I found it very exciting. <laughs> uh, you can stop there, don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> <laughs> really dull. Uh, right. Um, you can put your toilet right away, unless you think you might need it later. <laughs> <laughs> um, may I ask you all, how aware were you of Doctor Who before you were cast in it, whether it, you know, the, the classic series, it's become known now, or the new, the new series? Um, Tracy? Um, I think I think I actually grew up in during the time when it was off air for I think it was seventeen years. Was it? It was yeah, quite a while. Yeah. Um, so I I caught sort of the tail end and then this new um, version. So I kind of knew um, I knew a lot about it and I was very aware. And I love sci-fi. Probably shouldn't say this. I'll get mauled afterwards. But I'm a huge Star Trek fan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I love anything sci-fi. So I was quite excited to to be involved in in this kind of um, okay. TV work. Mm. So what, what's your favourite? As on Star Trek, what's your, your favourite Star Trek series then? Are you a classic or a oh, it's, Voyager? Oh, it's difficult. It's difficult. I do love Voyager just yeah. because Catherine Janeway. Well, you Are know. they a good crew? Yeah. Well, gotta get them home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love Every the format. Week. Yeah, and um, Jean Luc Picard, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and my friend's in the RSE at the moment, and um, so I got to meet him, and she said, you're not allowed to make him say any Star Trek phrases. <laughs> so I was like, biting my tongue, like, okay, I'm not going to make him say, engage. <laughs> so I just said, could I have a picture, please, and I'm not allowed to talk to you. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's a cross between those two. Thank you. So now... Um, I think I was aware of... Doctor Who for quite a while, <laughs> longer perhaps than the others, um, and uh, yes, I thought it was interesting stuff. I did tend to think, and I think the audience uh, gender ratio today bears me out a little bit, <laughs> that it was kind of boy stuff, um, so uh, yeah, I tended to think it was for the chaps, but uh, was interested in it, generally. <coughs> so, do, do you have a, a classic Doctor of your own? Do you also Period of watching the show, or did you watch the show when it was on? Originally? Um, I, I just think David Tennant is is the is my my doctor. Now, obviously, you, you had a, a I love I loved Doctor, yeah, exactly. That, that says it all. I loved it, absolutely loved it when I was a, a kid. Um, obviously, Peter was the first doctor I was uh, I was aware of, and then um, Colin Baker, and then Sylvester McCoy. And, uh, you mentioned before that so you had a bit of a fanboy moment recently during rehearsals when Peter turned up. Uh, oh, we do. We, our, I'm d currently doing um, Legally Blonde at the moment with Peter at the Savoy, and uh, our dance captain likes to theme our warm ups uh, a lot of the time. So, for instance, there's always a, a Christmas themed warm up, Easter themed warm up, etc. And it was Gay Pride a month or so ago, so we had a Gay Pride themed warm up. So, a lot of the dancers come in wearing either next to nothing or a lot of pink. And uh, the whole room stopped when Peter Davison walked on stage in his Doctor Who costume. <laughs> <laughs> and I personally was, I couldn't speak, I was in awe of this. That is, I had to touch it. This is, <laughs> this is wow, this is the, the costume he wore. He has two, two of these jackets. I grilled him incessantly about um, you know, whether he's allowed to keep his jackets, whether he still wears them, for what purposes he wears them. Um, did you try it on? Um, I didn't try. I thought that was overstepping the mark. I, thought, I, won't, I, won't, I mean, I was tempted, but I thought I won't on this occasion. Maybe next time.